Hi, I'm Janelle from Project School Wellness and I just want to take a moment to show you how you can use Loom to teach your students remotely and then how to share this and connect it with your Google Classroom or another e-learning platform. So for this example, I am going to be using Google Classroom and show examples from there. So let's just uh, move forward and we're going to pretend that I am teaching students. Hi students, it's Mrs. K here and I'm really excited to connect with you and talk about the dimensions of health. So starting out, let's do look at what we're going to learn today. So we're going to build a general understanding of each dimension of health. So the general word is important because I don't expect you to have a full understanding of each dimension of health after this lesson. I just want you to have and get an idea of what each dimension of health is and to better understand that health is multidimensional and that our well-being it relates to many different dimensions of health. So we're going to start off with a question and it's just how are you living healthy? So if you go back over to your Google Classroom in your stream here for today, you are going to see we already started here and this is the video that you're watching. Now you're going to go click um, click here and view question and then you are going to sorry right here click question at the top you're going to type in your response and respond to your classmates when you're done you can come back to the PowerPoint so hope you had a good discussion hope you had some good ideas so there's lots of ways that we can be living healthy so maybe you um, take time to play with your siblings every day maybe you take time to play outside and be active or maybe you eat healthy you cook homemade meals with your family um, these are lots of there's so many different ways for us to live healthy and to live an enriching life so there's no wrong answer here just want you to think about all the positive things you're doing to live healthy so let's get back to the main focus. So dimensions of health. These are the core areas of your life, aka the wedges of the wellness wheel. So if you remember from our previous lesson, we looked at a big wellness wheel and we looked at how our biggest concerns in life relate to the different dimensions of health. And then if we remember um, the wellness wheel, so let me just draw a little wellness wheel. So if this was our wellness wheel, Let's here, sorry, this isn't gonna be a great drawing, but you'll get the idea. And each of these sections, so each of these sections represent a dimension of our life. All right, so let's move on to the next slide. Okay, so we are going to do a Dimensions of Health Learning Station activity. So for this Learning Station activity, you're going to go back to your feed here, and you're going to go to Task 2, and it says Learning Stations Dimensions of Health. And what you can do is you're just going to click this right here, and it's going to bring up a Google form. You're going to put in your name. So let's say this is for me, Mrs. K, right? And let's say that I'm in this class. And I'm going to just now let's go through this. I'm gonna to go to read, I'm gonna watch a little video, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the um, task here. And then when I'm done, I am when I'm done, I will turn it in. And then when you're done, you come back to the PowerPoint. So have fun and enjoy learning about the different dimensions of health. All right. So Let's come and chat about the activity that you just did. So what dimension of health is most important to you? So you've looked through the different dimensions now and each of them are very important, but not everyone is going to feel the same about all of them. So I want you to think about which one is most important in your life. And then that's, we're gonna to come to task you the question. And then right here, you can type in your information. Or you're thinking. Oops, sorry. Go back to classwork if you're a little bit confused about where we are. All right. So after you finished that question and you've responded to some of your classmates, and maybe if you guys are online at the same time, you're able to have a little bit of back and forth on it. And we're going to go to the next question. And this is which dimension is most confusing? So again, like I said, we're dimensions are. I want you to go back to your Google Classroom 
and I want you to answer this question. Which dimension is most confusing to you? All right, so let's do a little recap. So again, the dimensions of health, those are the core areas of our life. And let's look at what are those core areas of our life. So we have emotional and mental health, and that refers to my processing mind, um, my ability to cope with life, my ability to manage my responsibilities, and just deal with the struggles and challenges of everyday life. Then we have our mental health. So this is my surroundings. So environmental health refers to more than one thing. Yes, it is very important that we keep our environment, um, our planet, safe and that we protect it and help it thrive. But environmental health also refers to understanding that whatever environment we are living in or we are in impacts how we feel, think, and act. So we want to be really intentional about surrounding ourselves with people and in places that help us think, feel, and act in positive ways. Then we have financial health. So this is about our ability to manage money, understanding how to budget, save, and provide for ourselves now, and then plan for the future. Intellectual health relates to my knowledge, and you could also add creativity here. So intellectual health isn't, oh, you have um, perfect grades, or you're so smart. It's all about, do you have a love for learning, and do you love learning about new things, and discovering things, and mastering new skills, and new concepts? All of those things relate to intellectual health. Then we have occupational health. So my job, occupational health is all about, do you have a job that you love? Do you have a job that you're good at? Do you have a job that provides for you? Now, as you know, when you're a student, your job is basically going to school, but while at school, you're learning really important skills that are gonna relate directly to your ability to thrive in terms of a job when you're older. So can you work well with others? Can you collaborate? Can you problem solve and think creatively? Can you start a task and finish it? Can you follow directions and meet deadlines? All those different things. Then we have physical health. So that is about my body. So how well is your is your physical body working? You know, so are you sick? Are you not sick? Are you um, functioning at a, a high level? Are you treating your body well by exercising and eating healthy? Those different things. Then we have social health. So this is all about my relationships So and your social life. So do you feel like you belong? Do you have people that you trust and you connect with? Do you have people that support you? Are you able to, you know, engage in small talk conversation and connect with people casually? Do you have the skills to communicate within a relationship? Are you able to navigate social conflict? Those different things. And then the last one is spiritual health. So this is my values. It's really easy to confuse spiritual health and religion, and those are not the same things. So you, in terms of spiritual health, is all about living with meaning and purpose and living according to your values, your ethics, and morals. And well, if you are a spirit, if you are a, a religious person, the religion that you follow will probably can um, help define what is meaningful and purpose in your purposeful in your life and what your values, ethics, and morals are. However, you don't need to be a religious person to be spiritually healthy. Anyone can live with meaning and purpose and anyone can work to live in accordance with their values, morals, and ethics. All right, well, those are the different dimensions of health and I hope that you have a better understanding of how your health is multidimensional and how there are many different factors impacting your well-being and impacting your overall quality of life. So um, please, if you haven't already, go back and finish all of those tasks on your classroom and hit submit. And then I will see you in our next lesson. And if you have any questions or comments for me, don't hesitate to connect through the Google Classroom. So until next time, have a fantastic day and take care and be intentional about nurturing your well-being so that you can live your best life. Bye! 
All right, so that would be an example of how you can use Loom to teach your students um, distance in a distance learning setting and how you can use your Google Classroom to go along with your PowerPoint or whatever activity you've created for your students as um, you know, maybe you have some other slides or you want to just have a video of you, you can do that while also sharing the screen to show what they should be doing. So I hope that this was helpful for you. Um, right now, Loom is offering a free pro subscription for teachers and students. So please check that out and just stay connected as I will be working to share more Google Classroom and distance learning resources with you. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to connect. You can contact me at projectschoolwellness.com. Contact. Let me just move my bubble so you can see that. All right. Thank you so much. And I look forward to chatting soon. Bye.